And it's time to enter this last part, which is the state of the system or the system state. What do we mean by state? We're going to see this. Steady state is typical for continuous processes, and transient state is also known as unsteady state or non steady state. Makes sense? Like the counterpart, steady versus non steady. And typical for batch and semi batch processes. We're going to see these ones later. So, steady state when all values of all variables in a process do not change that. I remark not and time. So imagine this diagram, you have this diagram, the operation of a plant typically is all year, 24 hours. So what you will expect is I have this reactor, I want it to work at least 10 years with this flow, I want to keep this flow. Suppose that we don't have an increase in demand. That will be nice. Actually, in real life, you do have a decrease or increase of demand. So you only need to take this amount of benzene. You are selling almost 8.2 ton of benzene. That is what you are selling. I don't know, maybe you sell it. No idea. $10 a kilo, which I think is a lot. So, if you keep working like this, you want to, well, if you have 2,000, two tons of toluene, you need 820 kilograms of hydrate. So, keep doing this, you will have this conversion always the same because it's operating continuously. The gas separator will always separate this amount of gas with the concentration of A and B and C, blah, 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 blah. The same and our product will be the same purity here so after one year the concentrations flows and other uh, variables will be or should be the same now what happens when that does not actually happen let's see it here the transient state is essentially when any of the variables changes with time so there is actual change now I brought here let's see we have a pot We are here with fire, and in the example, I don't know, you have 10 liters here. I don't know, maybe it's water. And in time zero, you have those 10 kilo or 10 liter. Let's say 10 liter, which is if it if it were water, it will be 10 kilograms of water. After five hours, time two, it will be five hours later you only have two liters, which is about two kilograms. So of course you lower the level, you lower the mass inside, you, if you are making the balance here, you, increment, you increase here, you decrease here, because it goes here, 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 evaporates, condensates, and comes here. So transient state, just be thinking about there is a change in time. We're not going to see that much. We're actually seeing like 10% of these. The course is based on this transient state. The most typical one is the continuous one. So pay attention in that one.